Like, the only death I don't regret is, like, finally, I get to kill Karth. Thank you, game. <laughs> oh it was worth my. the dark. It was worth the dark side. It was. You have issues. I'm sorry. He annoys we, me. It, He's look, annoyed me since day one. Sweetheart, sweetheart, we. I, what? I told you, honey. We we need to go back to counseling. We we need to talk <laughs> about this. What you have in your heart? <laughs> Um, let's see. Um, Karth starts with a presupposition. I'm going to betray him. What? I have not done anything yet. Uh, if anything, you constantly judging me before I've done anything is going to make me betray you. Not- I- Look, you saved my life when you pulled me out of the escape pod. I would be like, hey, I'll cut this guy some slack because if I- If he didn't do that, I would be dead. So, <laughs> hey- we're going to start on good foot. No, I can't trust you. You're awful. You're going to betray me. What, dude? I haven't done anything. I'm a Republic soldier. Because that's what I, I, that's what the, the thing I did. That, I'm not a smuggler. I'm not a, some spy or anything like that. I am a soldier. You can, it, I, I know it's what I've been programmed to think, but just like, as far as I know. I swore an oath to a republic to defend and protect and lay down my life. If you're another republic soldier that cares about the republic, I'm not going to do any stupid thing to you. So chill and not think I'm going to suddenly stab you in the back. I don't appreciate that. So mm -hmm. he drives me up the freaking wall. I can tell. Yes, so... um. I, I I have been able to move past his voice, but um, everything else about him, no. Go drown that orange jacket and that stupid hair fringe away from me. Just drown in the unknown planet beach. I would be fine. Bury him in the sand. Completely. Six feet under. I'm fine with that. So yes. <laughs> uh, do you think I, I, I explained my point of view? <laughs> do i need to use smaller words what am i missing here i can tell that you do not like it <laughs> thank you <laughs> you're welcome and such but, and by the way but, uh -huh. i have a confession i i like to hair. So, I'm sorry. I liked the You hair. liked that he was I a like... pilot, and you liked that he has the hair fringes. I, especially those two little strands. Like, I just wanted to pull I wanted to them. pull them off. <laughs> you want <laughs> Dang, A very deep insight <laughs> on Helma's story of how she truly feels about Carrie. So, <laughs> with that being said, I see an ominous figure, figure in the distance. That's probably wondering what the book is. Oh, hey, loser. Hey, miss. I'll never go to the dark side. Never go to the dark side. What did you do? Good, so I finally get to shove this lightsaber up your face. I've been waiting too oh, long. Gosh. Fawn of the Jedi. What? Okay. Yeah, Fawn of the Jedi Council. What are you talking about? Surely you know what I mean. Look at what the Council did to you. They turned you into that puppet. The same thing they do to all who are truly strong. They speak of the dark side as if it is something to be feared. But in reality, their only goal is to manipulate. Well, Why do you think the Jedi forbid you and Malak from joining the Magic of the Moves? I knew you would realize your true potential and break free of their domination. Malak has shown me how the Jedi Council have been using it the same way they once tried to use you. Really, her eyes should be yellow. I, I think that would have been cool. I think she kind of looks a little bit more pale. Like, I don't know. 
Uh, yeah, maybe she's still a, a baby in the dark side, that she still hasn't quite there yet. Newborn in the yeah. babiness of the dark sidedness. Ness, ness, ness. No, I don't believe Huggy Betray. I totally believe it. Either one or two. Only a week? A week? A week. I wonder how long you were gone trying to get the last map. I'm kidding. Could have been really more than a week? Uh, now I'm just thinking about logistics. Just, um... Just like, okay, let's say you're gone for a month, so that means three weeks she's been training dark side fully, or whatever, if it's been two weeks and a week or whatever. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm just wondering, like, how, how long has she been doing this? So really the first one? Yeah, the first one. You suck. Dang, Nabit Basila. I just wanna see. I'm sure that was like the moment where a lot of us were like, what? Oh, there we go. It's a lot louder now. There we go. I was just like, I, it was funny when I played this. I was like, for some reason, I was not surprised. Whoa, okay, now it's way too loud. Wow. I was, I was I was surprised and mad. I was like, what? You were stronger than I would have thought possible after what the Jedi Council did to you. Seems that none of this wrong. The power of the dark side is not lost to you after all. I'm Masky Kalma now because that's a much more intimidating na name than Darth Revan. You know? One or two. One or two would work. You can deny what you are, Revan. It's your only fool yourself. I know the truth. I have seen the shadows inside your mind. Remember? I was there when you nearly died in the trap set by the Jedi Council. I used the Force to preserve your life, Revan. We are forever linked by my actions on that bridge. <sighs> I'm defriending you on Spacebook. <laughs> One. These are your true feelings, Revan. You are speaking as a tool of the Jedi Council, as I once did. But now I see how the Jedi used us both. The Council tried to exploit the bond between us. They hoped I would draw out your memories to lead them to the Star Forge. We were slaves to their will, like all who followed the Jedi Code, but in our shared visions of the star maps. I also felt the so-called taint within you. I resisted it at first, but now I embrace the power of the dark side. Your dark side. Oh, now you're trying to blame me for your stupid decisions. Really? Stay now. you are making is the one you are making now. You deny yourself the power that is yours by right. Only now do I realize how strong you are. You deserve to be the true master of the Sith, not Malak. I see this now. Together we can destroy your old apprentice. Join with me and reclaim your lost identity. You've got to be joking. <sighs> I guess... I guess one, really. Your mind was too badly damaged to ever fully restore your memories, Revan. But your power, your strength of will, the essence of who and what you are, these things still remain. Once, long ago, you defied the Jedi Council, freeing yourself from their control. You claimed your rightful title of Dark Lord of the Sith. 
Together we can defeat Malak and take back what is yours. <sighs> Good grief. Yes, together we can rule the galaxy. <laughs> Look, if I'm gonna rule the galaxy, I don't want Basila by my side. Uh, be careful where you whip around that lightsaber. When you felt the power of the dark side, you fled to a cave like some cowering animal. You know nothing of the force. Oh, okay. Whoa. whoa, chill there. That's not cool. It's yours to command. You can use it to destroy Malak. With my help, you could rule over the entire galaxy. Dang, Vasila. Uh, she has some issues she has to work out. So definitely one. You were a pathetic fool, Revan. Together we could have defeated Mal. I'm pathetic. I'm pathetic. Now, Excuse me, Miss. I I resisted the dark side for only a week. Fools who bow down to the Jedi Council. No one can stand against the power of the Star Forge and the Sith fleet. You know what? I would be running after her and then like force grabbing her and then grab yeah, that shuttle yeah, for myself. Like, get back. I, I'm just gonna let her take off and I gotta throw my lightsaber or grab it with the force or anything because apparently that can just go straight to the Star Forge.